everybody, I'm Slash and VC, this is Vulture for NetHack. We follow the continuing adventures of Arius, the High Priestess of Huarol. Oh, I've still got my blindfold on. Who has, in the last episode, Arius I mean, teleportation, invisibility, and digging? Hmm. Gray Dragon Scales. These are interesting drops from the last episode. Well, I'll take them, I guess. Why not? Need to eat a bite. Not a fortune cookie. What do we have here? Maybe a couple sea rations. Well, Knapsack cannot afford in, or accommodate any more items. Oh. Let's put some stuff in the backpack then. Put that stuff up. We can put just stuff up. Put one of those in there. What are we going to wear? We're going to need levitation in a minute. We're going to wear these two. We're not going to need that one, but I have to take it off. Reaction, I have to take it off. Conflict, I want to keep on me. So we could put away hmm, magic missile striking. <laughs> Striking, striking, digging, wish. We're not going to wish any time soon either, probably. So that would work right there. And a topaz done. Unidentified green gem. Man, I rarely see unidentified gems anymore. I just got a message. Okay. Now, back to business. Um, need to get some food out. Slime mold. We also have the sea rations. Let's eat something. There we go. No, we don't have sleep, uh, sea rations because they were... Knapsack could not accommodate the items. All right. Now, what's the goal for the episode today? Very simple. Very easy. We're going to map out as many Gehenan levels as we can get mapped out. See what they look like. See how low we get. Hey, potion of gain level the unicorn had. Nice. I feel like drinking that right away. Is it, It's really not worth my time to curse it, I don't think, just so I can levitate above levels with it. Let's go ahead and drink that. I mean, we're experienced level 30, but let's see what it does for the hit points. Our HP right now is 169. And after drinking a potion of game level, 172. It has a little bit of an effect. Not a lot. A little bit. Oh, I'm hungry again. Wow, it's great. Uh, let's get out from... Oh, yeah, K-rations. Two of those. What else happened, Nymeria? Not much. We're just going to go map out some Gehenan levels today. Uh, we haven't been... Well, let's see. We haven't actually been through the Valley of the Dead yet. So, not with this character anyway. I'm thinking it's probably going to be a cakewalk, but I'm also thinking it'll be a fun way to maybe lure a race off the level. Oh, shoot! Shia Hulud is digesting me. I don't have my ring on now. Uh, I think I can dig my way out. Yeah, there we go. Dang, Shia Hulud, you used to be my pet. Uh, maybe. Let's take off reaction and put on slow digestion. There we go. Now they can't do that to me. I don't need to wear teleport control either. I plan on putting on maybe levitation here in a minute. No, I just leave Shia Hulud on the level because he used to be mine. But I don't kill him. But he did kind of give me a close call there. What's this? Another one. Uh -oh. He's not named. I was planning on maybe, you know, getting him. I'm going to bring all these guys with me at some point. Right up. Yeah, maybe. I'll try to bring them with me to the astral plane. Have them devour. 
Mm hmm. Devour everything. So I'm not killing them. I'm not in a position right now where I have to kill anything, really. I, it's kind of like a Dark Souls speedrun in a way. You just keep running. Uh, I guess we'll pick up the digging wand and put on the levitation wand. I could, but my stash is on this level. <laughs> I think I've already got all my resistances, though. Hey. Oh, it's a statue of a stone golem. By the way, did I tell you I talked to Melville and what he had to say? Yep, yeah, he wants to talk about dungeon exploring. Yeah, and you'd, that's what you'd expect, isn't it? I mean, that was his thing. Exactly. All right, now I think I've got... I can take off the levitation ring and put on regeneration, I guess. I should have magic mapping, yeah, seven scrolls. So I'm going to do seven levels in today's episode beyond whatever I've explored so far. So starting from here. Oh, Nymeria, one more thing before you go in there. No, too late. Let's see what I've got here. Oh, Stormbringer's in hand. Okay. I need to enchant Stormbringer a little bit more, as a matter of fact, because uh, Disenchanters have taken a toll on it. Disintegration Ray, not going to hurt me. Okay. We've explored this level as well. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, no need to dig there. All right. The castle. Everybody's seen me do the castle. These guys aren't friendly, which is good. I can kill them and get them out of my way. And the vampire doesn't scare me. Here, I'm going to back up a little bit. Get rid of the vampire lord. Sorry, dude, but you know what? We're both um, drain resistant, so we can't hurt each other. I'm fire resistant, so fire elemental can't hurt me. Another vampire lord. Pretty much all you need is drain resistance, and these guys are a cakewalk. Rock troll. I just keep letting him revive. What's this? Zan. Okay. Hey. What do you mean I sink like a rock? Thought I had my, uh, oh, I don't have my ring on. Dang it. I am so glad that my scrolls, hey, wait, what is going on here? Oh, I've got regeneration on, and now my scrolls are blank. Oh, that was so stupid. That's my bad. I diluted some stuff. I blanked all my scrolls. Oh my god. I really did. Oh, that was dumb. Mm -hmm. Okay. I do have a magic marker, though. But I don't want to write a pile of magic mapping scrolls. Okay, no, that was uh, that was entirely my bad. I was thinking I had my levitation ring on because I I clicked to put it on and then I didn't read the message that said that I had no ring fingers to fill. I had my regeneration ring on. I just blanked seven blessed scrolls of magic mapping. So what I'm going to do, because I am determined to map Gehenna rather than walk through it step by step like I did with. Um, my samurai. I'm going to go do some polypiling until I've got magic mapping scrolls, and then we'll resume from where I left off. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, everybody. I went back up to my stash. Oop, at Medusa's level. And, uh, oop. Did some polypiling for however many turns. You don't know exactly how many. Check the tape. Let's see, regeneration. Oh, levitation. Keep that thing on. Don't make this mistake again. 
the normally there would be a drawbridge here, but because I didn't play the pass tune, I actually just zapped it with a wand of striking. There's nothing there. You got to float over it every time, which is fine because you got to come over here. Right here. You got to come over here and float over these traps anyway, or fall down them. Either one. What we got here? Oh, cool. More stuff. Move levitation. Pick up. This is all polyphata right here. On the fire, that's always handy. Um, do I have on my slow digestion ring? Yes, I do. So. All right, well, we'll go in here and kill the Jabberwocks and maybe the Purple Worms and whatever at a later time. Well, you know what? I wouldn't mind checking out these gems here. Let's go ahead and do that. Put on notation. That will get me over here. It's down there, brass lantern. Nothing much, in other words. Kill this dragon. Uh oh. What where did all these gems go? Nothing left in here but two gray stones. Hmm. Interesting. I've been trying not to kill purple worms. For Shia Hulud's sake. Three worthless gems, scale mail, blessed leather armor. Not really there. Worthless glass. The Akrota. Okay. I don't know who shot the sleep ray. I'm guessing it was a dragon, maybe? Oh, all right, guys, let's take off levitation. Hop down here into the Valley of the Dead. I don't think you can magic map this level. If I remember correctly, you get some kind of a terrible error when you try to magic map the Valley of the Dead. But uh, I could be wrong, so... Mm. Yeah, no, actually, I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. I think we need to find our way without magic mapping. Right here. Look at all the gremlins, man. Like, every level has tons of gremlins. Ever since the incident where the gremlins started to multiply at Medusa's. Ring of increased damage. So one of the things I've been thinking about is to... Um, I didn't get slimed, did I? If I can uh, pull up. Messages, there we go. Oh darn, that Ogre Lord was not hostile. I was thinking about bringing these wraiths with me back up. You know, like pick up another 10, 15, 20 levels or something from the Valley of the Dead. Kill an unseen monster. All right, let's get rid of the blindness effect. So I can figure out what's going on there. What is it? Oh, it's just a Etten. Giant zombie. Oh! It's a uh, disenchanter. Let's zap magic missile. There we go. Which reminds me, I'm not wearing my shield of reflection yet. Okay. It wouldn't hurt to try enchanting Stormbringer again. Get him up to plus six or whatever. Come here, gremlins. Or ants. Whatever. Come on, hop in here. Zerudi, you want in? Yeah, come on. Come on, I can do this all day, guys. Lael. There's a wraith. We could use the same wraith rustling technique. Just uh, charm the race and then herd them all back toward the staircase because they're not going to leave a corpse here. You know, but uh, I'm just going to step back on this trap. I know it's a trap, but just to get away from that wraith for now. Okay. We'll come back and charm that wraith at another time. Or we could just lead him right back to the staircase. Let's see our wand of digging. OK. 
Okay. Cool. Tell you what, Wraith, why don't you follow me to the castle? And we'll see if you leave a corpse here. No? Alright, that's fine. Hey, remove curse. Cool. That'll save some of my holy water charges. I don't eat stalkers, by the way. I don't know if you do, but it's just not something I do. Yeah. Green dragon scales. Don't need them. Alright, so that uh, wraith didn't leave a corpse. These vampires can't drain my levels. I'm immune to the poison that the cobras are going to try to dish out. I am trying to kill the vampires right off the bat, though. Kind of a habit. Then we've got these gremlins. Alright, guys. I mean, you know, you could just, like, take a minute. We don't have to do this all at one time. But, at AC32, you know, it's really not that bad, even to get ganged up on quite a bit. Now, hopefully, I killed that nymph. She didn't steal from me. Yeah, I killed her. Good. Alright, guys. More and more and more of you. This has been the, uh, the whole playthrough, pretty much. From Fort Ludios, Quest... Um, all right, let's go up. We'll take these wraiths with us. See if anybody wants to leave a corpse on the castle. Yep, there's one. So we're at 172 HP, 175 HP. Mm, it's not a big improvement. You're looking at 3 HP per wraith. That's pretty small. Hmm. But if there's 20 of them, that's... 60 HP. So, I can't say that it's not worth doing at all. Uh, I'm going to probably make it a policy. Nope. No, don't trap me in here. See, I didn't want to kill him, so I charmed him. That's what happened there. Then I can always just head back. Hey, it's Arius's ghost. I can always head back uh, up to the castle level with, like, you know, all my wraiths. If you saw my wraith wrestling episodes, I think I had three of those during the quest. You'll know what I'm talking about. There's a potion of full healing. It's always good. And on we go through the Valley of the Dead. Doo -doo -doo. This is starting to look like maybe... Is there a hidden door here? No. So many ghosts. Whew. There's a passageway up here. Feels like, yeah, here we go. There's the passageway. I knew there had to be one. There were so many monsters there. Jeweled wand. That's a wand I haven't um, figured out yet. I don't have any blue dragon scales either. That'll look nice in my collection. Banded mail. What's this? Lethargic trap. Ooh, ochre jelly. Stormbringer is not affected. Okay. Probing wand. Oh yeah, now we're getting into the graveyard proper. Can I? Yeah, here we go. We can fight these ghosts and pretty much ignore these wraiths because I'm level drain resistant. 
and then charm them. Charm them. Come on, charm them. I don't want to charm this ghost. Charm. 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 Come on. Oh, 63%. Still. Charm. There we go. Alright, let's go back to the beginning. Where's the beginning again? Oh, it's on the other side of this trap. Okay, no problem. Staircase. Where's the staircase? Oh, because we gotta go around another trap. We can't use our automatic run. There we go. Another Eden mummy. Valley of the Dead's not holding any real surprises for us right now. Let's take that wand of striking. Kill this guy. Might as well kill him while we're at it. And use our magic whistle. Go up. Yeah. That wraith out of the way. No corpse. That's okay. These guys only represent a small bonus in uh we'll take the green dragon scales. Only represent a small bonus in HP, but I don't know. I think it'll add up, so I think it's worth doing. It's our last chance to increase our HP this way. Got anything unidentified? There's a ruby, the rest are glass, a bunch of food rations, might as well take those. Dragon scales, I'm starting a collection, so. Ooh, those are a little heavy though. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We can drop, for now we could drop the black ones, I think we've already got some. But anyway, alright guys, well this has been so far the Valley of the Dead and Wraith Wrangling in the Valley of the Dead. Uh, I'm going to go make a drop-off at my uh, stash, a bunch of food rations, and drop off some of these dragon scales and stuff, and uh, call it an episode. I will uh, meet you back here for the next episode where we finish the Valley of the Dead and get all our race uh, lined up. We'll just eat them all in one time and um, go in and start mapping out the So thanks for joining me, and we'll see you then.